Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I style my son's hair. He just decided for himself that he wants to grow his hair out and he wants to wear cane rows now. He's coming to that age where he's just trying to find his own sense of style. So this is what he's chosen for himself. So he's already washed and blow dried his own hair. He's just learning how to take care of his hair. So I helped him out in the washing process just because sometimes he can leave a little bit of residue on his scalp from not cleaning it properly. So um, yeah, he washed, conditioned and blow dried his hair and he already applied a heat protector on his hair when he was blow drying his hair. So yeah, I'm just giving his hair a once over with the blow dryer, just trying to get it as straight as possible so that it's easier for me to cane roll. And then once I'm done, I just put his hair into this big braid that he loved so much. Temporary, they look good after this. Wait, what the hell? No. Oh my mum. I can't record your hair like that. No, you can, you can, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> it's so silly, I swear. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, I go ahead and give him a trim now. Um, I do have videos up on my channel of how I trim his hair and my boyfriend's hair, but I probably will do an updated version because I found an easier way to do the fade. Oh, my neck. Oopsie. I forgot to put the apron on him, so yeah, don't forget to do that because the hair will go all the way down their back and he was itching throughout the whole video. <laughs> oh, poor thing. So yeah, don't forget to put an apron on or a towel or whatever you have at home. So I've been cutting his hair for a long time now, um, ever since he was about five or six. And uh, yeah, I should be an expert by now, I know, but I wasn't taught by anybody. This is all self-taught, so I'm still learning. But once me and my boyfriend got together, he started to take him to the barbers with him. So I didn't cut his hair for about two years and for me I feel like I lost the ability and had to relearn again. So over the quarantine period is when, you know, I had to scrub up my skills a bit. <laughs> so yeah, I've been cutting their hair over the quarantine period and they haven't been to the barber since the beginning of COVID. So yeah, I probably will update you guys on how I cut their hair. He no longer obviously doesn't wear the high top, he wears canons on top now so it's just a simple fade on the sides. I'm going to speed through the video just because this is not a trimming video, <laughs> this is just to show you guys how I trim his hair. So I'll just give you a few tips on cutting hair while you have the hair on top. So obviously be careful not to cut into the hair on top. My son was practicing on his hair in one of the school holidays and he accidentally cut his hair too high. He was trying to practice on how to cut his own hair. So I let him and <laughs> yeah, he kind of messed up his hair a little bit. So yeah, don't cut too much into the hair. You can trim it afterwards if it's easier for you, but I don't really find it easier or harder to do it before or after. And also, if you're a beginner at cutting hair with clippers, I will say don't go in too short first. So I say maybe starting with a level one instead of starting with no blade, just to get a feel of the clippers. I even messed up in this video. I started the fade line too high at the back. I usually like the fade line to slope down at the back, just because it looks a little bit weird if you go too high like it does in this video. Um, yeah, it's just difficult when you're recording and stuff just comes out wrong sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, he wasn't too angry with it. He didn't actually notice it. He also has these little lumps at the back of his head, which also made the line look a bit more prominent because off camera it doesn't look as bad as it does in the video. But yeah, you can see the little lump there. <laughs> but it was okay, it was fine. But yeah, I definitely, definitely need to work a little bit more on my fading skills. Just cause I know I can get that fade line a lot smoother. Recently I discovered an Instagram account called Slider Cuts. It gives really simple but easy steps on how to trim hair with clippers. Um, I'll leave a link for his Instagram down below, he really helped me out. And looking back at the video, I think it's actually easier to do the trim afterwards because the hair is not loose so it's less likely that you're going to cut into the hair. And also I'm a bit stuffy at the moment because I'm just recovering from a cold and hay fever is banging me up as well. So. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just a little bit muffled. Can't be helped, my nose. Both my nostrils are blocked. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna let the video play, but if you like a more detailed video on how I trim their hair, you can check out my previous videos. I'll leave them in the description box below. 
but also if you do want an updated version let me know in the comments below and if you're enjoying content so far give it a thumbs up it really does help me out and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already i mainly do natural hair care content but i might be doing a lot more of these videos on my channel as well since i will be doing this hair every week so yeah if you're interested in that just click that subscribe button So now I'm done with the trim, I'm moving on to K Marino's hair. I'm not sure what you might call them in your part of the world. I believe in America they call them cornrows. Over here in the UK we call them cane rows. But whatever you call them, cornrow, cane row, I'm just starting by parting off the hair. This is the part that actually takes me a lot of time. I cut out most of the footage where I was trying to get the perfect parting. I just wanted to make sure that the proportions were correct. So what I do is I part it off just to know where I want the parting to be. And then I put some of the shine and jam where I parted it and then part it again. Because what the shine and jam does, it creates a neater part. Like, I wish I knew about this when I was younger, when I used to do hair for my friends. Like, I always used to struggle with getting those clean, clean, clean partings. And this is a lifesaver, honestly. So yeah, I just use a shine and jam. Or you can use edge control. This is like edge control, but it's a little bit more looser in texture. So that's how I get my really clean partings and probably anybody that you see <laughs> do hair on YouTube, they use the shine and jam or the edge control to get the clean partings. And I'm also using this Cantu twist and locking gel, which I don't recommend because it made his hair revert a little bit. But I wanted to put something in that will moisturize his hair. So um, I'd recommend using more of a buttery kind of moisturizer to avoid the hair from reverting. And I'm not doing his hair too tight. It looks like it's a little bit tight hair, but his scalp is a little bit inflamed and that's probably due to him leaving his scalp wet for too long. I've never seen it happen to him before, but his scalp was really, really dry before we washed it and it was flaking quite a lot. So um, I'm not really sure what was happening with him, but it looks a lot better now. It just looks like it's been dragged, but I don't cane row too tight at all. As you can see, it's not wincing too much in pain. <laughs> So yeah, just tight enough to hold, but not tight enough to pull out anybody's hairline, you know. <laughs> and I'm not a hairdresser, but I did actually want to be a hairdresser when I was a teenager. One of my older cousins used to do hair or she was training to do hair and she was really good at it. And I was just so intrigued by everything that she used to do. So I just learned from watching her really. And I was doing my hair since I was in year six. So yeah, I was about 11 years old and I started doing my own hair. So I've been doing hair for a long time. And when me and my sister grew up together, I was doing her hair for her as well. So my sister used to get me to do her weaves for her sometimes. She also got me to cut her fringe and stuff like that as well, which is probably the reason why I didn't end up being a hairdresser because I cut the fringe way too short one time. <laughs> it was so funny. It just reminded me of one of the fringes that Beyonce used to have. I'll try and insert a picture up to show you what the fringe looked like, but I was mortified. So yeah, that's that's what will probably stop me from being a hairdresser. So yeah, I'm just naturally good at doing hair. I probably could have made a living from it, but I'm just too scared of messing up. <laughs> so I just stick to doing my family's hair and that's it. But yeah, if you don't know how to cane row, let me know in the comments below. I will put up a video on how to cane row. I've seen a few videos and some of them seem a bit confusing 
So I want to show you guys how I cane roll and how I learned to cane roll and plait hair. Because what I find on YouTube is the grip that some people have. They grip it a different way and it kind of makes it a little bit harder to cane roll hair that way. And also the cane roll comes out a little bit different if you hold it in certain ways. So yeah, if you'd like to see a video on that, let me know in the comments below. His hair is really, really thick and it's quite difficult to do big cane roads in his hair. So I try not to keep them too big, but also at the same time, I'm not trying to sit here and spend like an hour and a half cane roading his hair. So I just make them medium size. So I'm doing only six braids, I think, in this style. Straight backs, but with a little bit of a curved pattern. Just something quick and simple that you can rock for the week. He's not really interested in the small cane rows, you know, the ones with lots of patterns. So it makes it much easier for me to do his hair. I don't actually mind. This only took like, what, 45 minutes? I'd say an hour and a half in total with the trim. Probably less, actually. I think it actually lasts him longer than a week. So yeah, that's good for both of us because, I mean, I've got my hair, my boyfriend's hair and his baby brother's hair to do as well. So yeah, so that's good for us. But yeah, I'm just going to speed through the video again because this is not a tutorial. It's just showing you how I do my son's hair. After doing this hair, I didn't catch it on camera. I went ahead and set his hair with the ORS wrap and set mousse. And then he put his do-rag on top to set it in place. <laughs> and he wore his do-rag every night after that as well until it needed doing to keep it from getting too messy. And that's how he kept his hair in for two weeks. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And leave a rating below out of 10 what you think of this style. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi.
Thank you.